fourth racking in the mead and we're going to be back sweetening it today we hope everything goes good take the dress off i got everything over there uh i have all my uh, stuff sanitizing so fourth racking in the mead let's get on with it the last time i saw she was at uh 17 and a half percent and a half percent oh 17 and a half percent oh my own well, here's what she looks like she's clearing up really nice in the flask of course she'll be clearer clearer than that if my other rackings let's get a sample of this so we're looking through a five gallon carboy here at, at, at my old video she did come in at 17 and a half percent but we do have a hydrometer that we're going to stick in here and get a new reading very shortly I'm going to get the hydrometer right into the... Jeez, I hope it don't fall in there. Oh, my God. Let's see what she come out to be here. I'm not going to be able to see it. I'm going to get closer with that flashlight. Oh, she's hard. <laughs> right in the rim of the... You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, hang on. <laughs> I'll be able to see it in here. That's 10. I'll get over there. 10, 12. Meniscus, I'm calling it at 10, 12. Mrs. Stoneyard. Mrs. Stoneyard Vineyards, 10, 12. I want some measurement. Half a teaspoon. All right, half a teaspoon of potassium sorbate per gallon. So it'll be five. There's one. I want to get them in now, help it stir up by itself. There's two. This is because we're going to back sweeten. Here comes number three, I believe. Lost the last count. I'm going to grab this thing first. Four. One more. Oh shit, we're getting there. Get a hold of us. Sometimes you'll get air in here unless you manipulate your wand just a little bit. And get a little fluid in there. I hate the air, but that's what's happening. I'll manipulate this a little bit. Lift it up a little. That's it. The rest we're going to drink by by glass. And we got no sediment picked up here at all, which is a good thing. And plenty of room for our back sweetener. <laughs> and I, I question I question whether the, our back sweetener is because we tasted it and it just tasted so, so nice. Let the wine empty there a little bit. We'll clean this out. We're going to drink that. the rest that's in here. At the bottom, there's some in there. You can see that. Uh, what we're going to do is get my uh, sweetener now. I don't think I missed the process. we got the potassium sorbate in there. What I normally do is stir it. And I really don't have a good stirring stick. So, since everything is sanitized here, I'll take my... Uh, <coughs> I'll take my uh, <laughs> my siphoning wand. It's not showing up here, and I'll just give it a quick stir with the wand. I just like that. And the potassium sorbate is you use that so it, uh, your back sweetening it's not going to re-ferment because we store some of this uh, for two three years. We got some down there from uh, twenty sixteen yet in the basement. Oh, we're dripping. All right, I'll we'll clean that later and drink that later. I just stirred up some of the sediment in there. And here we're going to use what we use is a Monin syrup here. And I always I decided not to back sweeten this, but we're going to because this is my secret of the recipe. Oh, orange flavored. In you go. Yeah, 
and I'll probably do it a whole bottle instead of five gallons. Now we're looking for our uh, boobler. My uh, sanitizing bottle. I want to make sure I don't spray it with Windex. Got a Windex bottle sitting here. How you doing? Start spraying shit down with a Windex bottle. I'll be in trouble. We'll just give this a quick sanitize again. Put your bubbler on in there. How you doing? All right, we transferred uh, five gallons of uh, Dragon's Blood Mead. We poured in the uh, back sweetener, Mona, and we got the potassium sorbate in it. Here's a sample. She's a little cloudy. We poured, poured off the bottom of the uh, kegerator. Otherwise, it's uh, clear as a whistle, and she'll be clear as a whistle when she goes in the bottle. But here's a taste test on it. I can't wait. 17.5%. And oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. I know camera's not going to pick that up. You got alcohol legs on there. At 17.5%, she better have some legs. Man, this is good. Oh, you can chug this. Well, I recommend not give the wife a taste. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Boy, you can taste the alcohol, but she blends so well. That's not back sweetened like this one is. It's lightly back sweetened. But this one is a. Uh, Dragon's blood. Dragon's blood for sure. We're going to transfer this here one too. The other five gallons today since I got all the uh, sanitizers all mixed up and the carboys are clean. Oh, that is really good tasting. What time is it? 10.48. 10.48. Yeah, I recommend not doing that in the morning. Okay, number two. Really hard to see in here. This one finished a little lower, I believe. This one's at 10. Let me hold that light still. Coming around 10. It's in the side with the bubbles. 12. Might have to wait to get this one at bottling. The lighting in here is terrible. 10. I can't tell. 14 looks like. What was the last reading? Measure out the uh, five half teaspoons, was it? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't get it on the hose. As much as possible. Oh, shoot. You can see how clean, clear that is. Maybe from this camera view. <laughs> All right, we got a. Uh, this carboy is a little smaller than the other one by manufacturer. <laughs> Not by much. So we're going to stir this with the drill a little bit. We print out the uh, labels here for the mead. And they're a little dull. And when we put them on the bottle, they uh, you don't want the ink to run through. This is just regular inkjet printer. So you take clear Rust-Oleum. I might have showed this before in videos years ago. Just clear enamel, shake it up good, and... And don't spray your camera. And just put a coat of, a coat of uh, clear on them like this. And the ink won't run. Of course, the paint will run if I keep spraying it wrong. So I put it on lightly on this one too. Try not to run it. And I got some more. And they actually start to shine when you do that. So I gotta go get the other ones. I got them over here and we're gonna stink it up in here in one shot. And the other ones I gotta turn this around, get a coat on them. But I'd like to get a, a couple decent coats. <laughs> 